we really do have a product that's qualitatively superior. Oh, struck God in the earth today. Holy Ghost struck God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost is God, God in the earth today. today. And you walk with him by saying words. Holy My name Ghost is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages Jesus are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, I get this a lot. Why do you keep preaching on prosperity so much? To which I say, why do you keep needing money to pay for things? It's a fact of life. You need some money. You have to buy things. You have to pay for things. This is how you live. And if you have more money, you can live better, right? Well, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22 says, The blessing of the Lord makes me rich. Say that, the blessing of the Lord makes me rich. Well, according to the word, I am blessed, and therefore I am rich. And the Spirit of the Lord would say, I am rich should i not talk about it the holy ghost is the wealthiest being that ever existed should he not talk about it a lot of people don't know this about the holy ghost but he is god he's in the earth today and he is the wealthiest being that ever existed he would like to live in a manner to which he's accustomed haggai 2 6 for thus saith the lord of hosts the Lord of Spirits yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts verse 8 the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts so whose is the silver and the gold his verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former says the Lord of hosts and in this place will I give peace saith the Lord of hosts he was talking about Solomon's temple and he said in this latter house or in the latter days there will be a house that is greater than the former he's obviously talking about prosperity he's talking about wealth say he's talking about wealth and he's talking about wealth being in his house who is his house in this latter day so we can see here just this one verse of scripture i will take you to many others but prosperity is not a side issue did it look like it was a side issue here i mean right in the middle of that he said the silver is mine the gold is mine it's not a side issue it's a central issue so the temple in that verse of scripture is foretold to be right he was prophesying the latter-day temple will be a rich temple the temple is foretold to be rich in this last day well how is he going to manifest in his temple if you don't go here well i don't want anything to do with that prosperity stuff well he can't manifest himself the way he wants to scripturally in this last day if you won't go here say i'm going here who's this latter-day temple first corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you therefore glorify god in your body who's the god that's in your body that would be the holy ghost you are the temple of the Holy Ghost if the glory of the latter house silver and gold is to be greater than the former in this latter-day temple 
who's the latter-day temple See? now I didn't always think this way I didn't always think that prosperity was such a big deal I thought it was one of those things you could either take it or leave it well that's not the way it is I was being unscriptural you can't take it or leave it you have to take it say I have to take it if you don't take it you're being unscriptural Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 47 because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies because you didn't serve the Lord your God with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things is that in your Bible what does it say you should be doing you should be serving the Lord your God with joyfulness and gladness of heart for there's a what are you serving him for for the abundance of all things or you won't be serving him you'll be serving your enemies now that word serviced there often is translated worship so you can worship the Lord your God for the abundance of all things I worship you Holy Ghost for the abundance of all things oh oh that's sacrilegious no that's scriptural I worship the Lord my God and he gives me the abundance of all things first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy well if it's the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy wouldn't it be good to know who the living God is and then worship him because we're gonna worship and serve him for the abundance of all things are you getting this well who is the Living God Holy Ghost is the Living God he's God in the earth today the Bible says you are the temple of the Living God Luke chapter 4 look at verse 8 these are the words of Jesus thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve when you learn how to worship the Lord your God the Living God you'll learn how to serve him and you'll end up serving him in prosperity you'll end up serving him in healing and health you'll end up serving him in youth renewal so thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and so the beginning of serving him is worshiping him can you understand that part of serving God is worshiping him right and him only shalt thou serve you'll end up only being healed you'll end up only being wealthy and the Living God is the one you worship you still there Luke chapter 4 verse 5 and the devil taking him Jesus up into a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time Ooh. and the devil said all this power will I give thee in the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it what do we know about the devil well he's a liar he's actually the father of lies so here he must be lying if his mouth is moving he's lying verse 7 if thou wilt therefore worship me all shall be thine now hold on mr. devil I just read several verses of scripture that completely contradict that statement of yours if I worship you the devil all will be mine I just read verse I'm supposed to worship and serve the Lord my God for the abundance of all things Deuteronomy 28 47 the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and adds no sorrow with it Proverbs 10 22 
living God gives me richly all things to enjoy scriptures and those aren't the only ones but those are ones I just read tonight those scriptures completely disprove what the devil was saying here that if I would worship the devil or if Jesus would worship the devil then all would be thine it's not true the devil knew it was not true Jesus knew it was not true why don't you know it's not true so wait a minute mr. devil if I worship the Lord my God for the abundance of all things not the devil are you seeing this if I worship the Lord my God all shall be mine you can see how he's trying to twist things he wants to be like God he tries to say that he's like God so that people might worship him Job chapter 1 verse 9 then Satan answered the Lord and said doth Job fear God for nothing or does Job worship God for naught? hast thou not made and hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side thou hast blessed the work of his hands and and his substance is increased in the land does job worship you for nothing no who did he say did it have you not has god not blessed job and protected him and increased him in the land who did that the devil no the devil knew that it wasn't him. it was God doing that you think Jesus knew this when the devil said oh if you worship me all shall be thine this is these are the words of the devil Isaiah 14 verse 14 I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high that's what he was trying to do and that's what he tried to do when G when he was there trying testing Jesus no Jesus didn't fail the test he saw right through it the devil said if you worship me all shall be thine Jesus said no you worship the Lord your God and all shall be thine in Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve why would he say that because all shall be thine when you learn to worship the Lord your God well who is the Lord your God in the earth today he is the Holy Ghost if you do it you will begin to see that through worshiping him all things they all things are transferred to you to who to the worshiper the temple but without worship many things are not transferred many things are not given many things are not accessible to you but when you open that door of worship you enter in to the great things of God so I challenge you to take this step of faith and worship the Holy Ghost take this step of faith and worship the Living God say worship the Living God who is the Living God he's the Holy Ghost then you will begin to see and know how to serve him and him only and you will have only healing and health you will only have wealth and be made rich with no sorrow well we are entering into a time when the new manifestation of the spirit is greater wealth than all the riches of the world combined our wealth begins where theirs leaves off so I preach Holy Ghost worship and I worship the Holy Ghost and I make Holy Ghost worshipers out of people now we don't just call ourselves a luxury gospel we really do have a product that's qualitatively superior this is different this isn't what you were doing before this takes you into a new place with the living God in the earth today there's enormous value in it even though many have never heard these things before 
but we've distilled down many things here Jesus is in heaven and he the real Jesus shall return from there and then he and the father sent the Holy Ghost into the earth and the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and he's the one that you get to know and walk with get this straight a lot of people don't have it straight but this is who you are and this is where you're at and this is the day you're living in it's the Holy Ghost and you in the earth fulfilling scripture what about the prosperity scriptures it's you and the Holy Ghost in the earth fulfilling scriptures what about prosperity scriptures well the number one way that we do this fulfilling scriptures and walking with the Holy Ghost who is God is by speaking in agreement with his word I hope that you're here I hope that you can hear this because you may desire you may you may desire some other way to walk with the Holy Ghost but this is the number one way is by speaking in agreement with his word how does God do all things he speaks his word and it comes to pass well if we're gonna walk with him we're gonna speak his word and it will come to pass 90% of prayers that God hears in his ear are about what money He's already answered he said stop praying about money and start calling it in talk to it and it will obey you you know some people will do anything but what the Holy Ghost told them to do I mean of course this could work for for anything could work for healing too but if you're in a situation where you need some money take 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night and select a, a verse of scripture and begin to say it you're speaking in agreement with God's Word the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it or one that's very familiar my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus needs I call you supplied right and you're gonna do this you're gonna speak that word of Scripture that verse of Scripture morning and evening in the morning and in the evening for 30 minutes there's power in every word of God to bring itself to pass in your life if you will say it the problem is you haven't been saying it into your life enough you have to speak those words into your life Joshua 1:8. It says that you're to mutter the word day and night mutter means to say it day and night then you would see how to do it and then you'd prosper and have good success if you speak his word morning and evening day and then night you would see how King James says observe but you would see how to do what you needed to do and you would prosper I'm not making this up read it yourself Joshua 1 8 but it's all about the words you speak listen the Holy Ghost says it's all about the words you speak if you want to walk with him like I said you can pick some other way you can pick some religious way to walk with him and have no results you want to have some results right if you want results you have to speak his words into your life it's all about your spoken words if you want to walk with me says the Holy Ghost you have to speak the right words don't pray for it stop praying for it and begin calling it the way I've said in my word are you hearing this lots of times I'll be praying for somebody and I do I pray for my partners but there are times and he's done this repeatedly rebuking me saying stop praying about it you just call them that way call them blessed and so I call them blessed I call my partners blessed made rich no sorrow added I call them healed I call their youth renewed 
and these things begin to take place things work so much better when you get in agreement with God's plan but we really do have a product that's qualitatively superior to other things that I've heard and we can walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and we worship him as the Living God and we serve him only in prosperity in health in youth renewal we worship him and we speak in agreement with his words let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are blessed right now the blessing is on them making them rich adding no sorrow to them and they shall rise up in this last day and be a living temple of the Living God for all to see and we give you glory and praise for it in Jesus name Amen if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are God in the earth today I thank you that I am increasing and increasing and increasing and being blessed by you and that I shall display your wealth and your glory in the earth and give you all the glory and praise in Jesus name Amen. the Father is in heaven Right hand, Holy Ghost, your God.